Noel Brown on BBC Radio Lancashire. How can the folk singer ever recover from the loss of the highly respected and much loved folk singer, comedian, writer, and musician Vin Garbutt? The Teesside troubadour Vin had major heart surgery just weeks ago and was thought to be on the road to recovery. But his family released a statement saying, It is with great sadness and extremely heavy hearts that we must inform you that our beloved Vin passed away this morning. That was on June the 6th. Now, Vin was 69 and you expect legends like Vin to be immortal, but sadly, Vin wasn't. When I first saw Vin perform live, the emotional impact of material had on me was one of the strongest I've ever experienced from a folk performer. That unmistakable accent, that roving, soaring counter-tenor voice of such precious timbre, that articulate, punctuated guitar accompaniment, the irrepressible banter, the fluid and often hilarious whistle playing. Now, the powerful songs that were written by Vin were often stimulated by his truly global gigging schedule. They defined him as a contemporary and powerfully political protest singer of stature. How many of you can remember Fortnite when Vin was the guest? He always delivered a night to remember. Similarly, you think of all the big bands that headline festivals. Vin used to do that just on his own. He'd walk on stage with his guitar in hand, his pint of Guinness and his tin whistle in his back pocket. He'd knock the audience for six and always lead them begging for more. He loved his family and his native Teesside. He loved the folk scene too and the scene loved him back in good measure. Vin Garbutt will be irreplaceable and sorely missed. Lines I have made concerning the times and distress of the trade. The north is well used to the drifting of cash, but now even London prepares for a crash. The homeless. Are living out rough in the street in houses of cardboard to keep off from the sleets. They went there to better their lives, I am told. Now the pavement, their beds are of concrete, not gold. How are we going to replace Vin Garbutt? He's always been there, Nick. He's been there as far back as I can remember, yes. Uh, when I ran the Old House Folk Club in Birmingham, I booked him. And he packed the place out and gave us a great night. He was he had, he had a wonderful line in wit, didn't he? Yeah, I was just telling Tinker Day before you arrived tonight, Nick. Um, we had him at, uh, I think it was the very first Big Whistle Festival in 2007. And I rooted out a mini disc today of his performance. And I think we're going to try and feature that in a future drift because it's a, it's I'd caught him that. at its best. You yeah. know, it's absolutely superb, superb performance. That, you know, throwaway banter which you were talking about, Tinker. Yeah, you know, he's right. he's just that sort of you know he makes the most it, the most as he made the most strange observations that were so hilarious. You yes. know, yes. which is, but that it's that voice, Nick. It is as well. It was a haunting voice, and of course, it's the quality of his songwriting as well. Yeah, and uh, obviously. Intensely political and respected, yeah. so and, and obviously it, it, some sort of negative things followed him around in his career, didn't they? Remember, he used to get heckled. Yeah, well, the thing is, he, he, he was uh, he was like you say, very political. Well, he wasn't necessarily uh, going along with a left wing dogma all the time, was it? In fact, no. certainly from his Catholic point of view and the stance he took on anti-abortion stance was. Um, really uh, uh, very much against what a lot of people felt or thought on the folk scene, but he didn't let it bother him. Yeah. You know? and, I mean, but, he released the LP, you remember, A Little Innocence? Yeah. And yeah. he couldn't get much more controversial than that. But uh, but again, a uh, headliner in every sense of the word. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, either, in a, either, as I alluded to in, in my uh, spiel there, you know, either in a folk club or a festival, you get those big bands, you know, they've got all the, all the synths, all the, you know, fiddles, whatever, backline. 
and then Nick would just go on on his own with his guitar. Yeah, that's right. that yeah. Nick, Vin- you, Vin- you and Nick Vinner yeah. go on with his guitar, and absolutely superb stuff. So, Vingar, but what a shame. Uh, but uh, we'll be sadly missed. We played there from the album. The instrumental was from the album Band Lies, The Wilderness Road, and then the song, of course, England My England, which I thought was appropriate at this moment in time, because we are, we'd prefer to say, challenged at the moment, aren't we, Nick?